If you wanna know that someone has fallen in love with you, one place to look is what's called honest signals. Because honest signals are signals that can't be faked, or at least it's really hard to fake them. And you can see honest signals in nature. For example, a poisonous frog will have really bright colors to tell all of its predators, hey, don't eat me, I'm poisonous and I'm gonna kill you. Snakes have the same thing, right? Think about an honest signal with a dog is the dog wagging its tail. That means the dog is happy. Or the dog will pin back its ears and it will show its teeth and growl when it's not happy, when it's angry. Those are all honest signals. Well, when it comes to human emotions, while we can hide our emotions or try to display different emotions, there are signals that are honest that demonstrate that your man has fallen head over heels for you. And that's exactly what we're gonna explore today. Check it out. Hey there, this is Matt Boggs, and I'm the founder of the Love and Relationships Division of the Brave Thinking Institute, where our mission is empowering people to create and live a life they love. And that includes your love life. So if you like this video, I encourage you to click that subscribe button and click that little bell, because every week we bring you great videos to empower you in your love life. So what are some honest signals, signals that are extremely hard to fake that can let you know that your man is falling head over heels for you? Well, number one is you catch him checking you out in mundane moments. You see, when he's fallen head over heels for you, he wants to soak you in. He wants to notice everything about you. He wants to absorb you into his mind and his body, into his spirit. I can remember when I was in high school, my very first love, she would constantly catch me checking her out in these mundane moments. She would catch me looking at her and she'd be like, what? And I'm like, oh, nothing. And what was I doing? I was just admiring her. I was admiring her beauty. I wanted to notice every hair on her head, every freckle on her nose. There's a great scene that captures this moment in action out of a movie called Before Sun. Attention on someone when you're in a direct conversation and you're supposed to be focused. But remember, the honest signal is where you catch your man checking you out in those mundane moments. Number two is the people that you care about, he cares about. When your man is falling in love with you, the things that you care about, he naturally cares about because your world is now becoming his world. Why is this an honest signal? Because, men, we are hardwired for efficiency. If we can get a job done with the least amount of energy possible, that helps ensure our survival. Think about hundreds of thousands of years ago when our job was to go out and hunt. The more energy we could conserve and still catch lunch and make it all the way back to our tribe, the more successful we were. So it's not efficient for him to start to care about everybody that you care about. That's why it's an honest signal, because it's counterintuitive to his nature. But he can't help it because your world has now become his world because he loves you. That's why it's an honest signal. A friend of mine shared a beautiful example of this. His girlfriend had gone out of town and she had a roommate that left for work and left an extremely important presentation back at their apartment. So his girlfriend calls him and is like, oh my gosh, my roommate is at work. She needs this really important presentation. Would you be willing to go over there and pick it up and take it to her work? And he was like, absolutely. And he was on the mission and he was doing it. Boom, went over to the apartment, got the presentation, went to the roommate's work, dropped it off, and he saved the day and he loved it. And why was he willing to do that? Because his girlfriend's world became his world. Why? Because he loved her. Very honest signal that your man has fallen head over heels for you. And number three is he's respectful even when he's stressed out. You see, it's easy to be loving, it's easy to be kind, it's easy to be Mr. Fun and Mr. Laughter when everything is going great. But it's when life squeezes us, when we're stressed, that you really get to see people's true colors. Wayne Dyer has a great example of this. He used to teach this. He said, see this orange? If I squeeze this orange, what comes out of it? And people would say, well, juice, orange juice. And he was like, that's right. Why does orange juice come out? Because that's what was in there in the first place. When we're under stress, that's life squeezing us. So if we're under stress and your man's under stress and he gets angry at you, he gets irritable, he gets short, 
Well, why is that coming out? Guess what? That was in him in the first place. On the other hand, if your man's under stress and he treats you with respect and he treats you with kindness, that's an honest signal that your man loves you. And number four is your wins become his wins. I often hear from my clients that they're afraid of sharing their wins with their man because they'll see that he gets intimidated by their big win. Well, that's not love at all. That's ego. When we get intimidated or we get jealous of somebody else's win, that's the ego side of ourselves wanting to be important, wanting to feel significant. That's not actually love. On the other hand, when your man's falling head over heels for you, your wins become his wins because your life now is becoming his life. And when he sees you win, that naturally makes him feel good because he loves you. I remember this moment when my wife and I were driving by this beautiful arena called the Grove of Anaheim, this beautiful performance center. And my wife's a singer. And so I said, hey babe, would you want to sing there one day? And she's like, oh my gosh, like that's a dream of mine. I've wanted to sing there since I was a little girl. And through a series of events, she got hired to sing at the National Association of Women Business Owners, their annual conference, and it was taking place at the Anaheim Grove. And so for the first time in my wife's life, she is on stage in front of a thousand women business owners and she's rocking the stage and she's singing and I'm in the audience and my hands are up and I'm pumping and I'm like, you go babe. And then that next week she came out in the newspaper. She was on the front page, big color photo of her, of the living section. And I was like showing it to all my friends. I was like, look at this, look at every and she's rocking it, telling everybody I knew because her win became my win because I am so in love with that woman. Seeing her live her dream filled me with joy. And that's an honest signal because the instinct in us and human beings is survival. The instinct is how am I gonna get mine? The instinct is ego. So when your man steps out of ego and he gets lit up because of your wins, great sign that he's fallen head over heels for you. And number five, he finds you beautiful even in your grungy moments. So even when your hair is nappy, you're in your sweats, you haven't showered for three days, your man comes up to you and he's like, oh baby, you're gorgeous, I love you. He wants to hug you and kiss you and squeeze you and you're like, stop, stop, I'm so gross right now, I'm so nappy right now. And he can't see it or he misses it because he just he's so in love with you. You being authentic and raw and real in those kind of grungy, intimate moments, he appreciates those just as much as he appreciates you all done up. Because that intimacy, that, that realness, love has a funny way of making you see everything that you're in love with as beautiful. And he sees even those moments as beautiful moments with you. And number six, he finds your quirks adorable. So we all have quirks about our personality, things that we do that will irritate or drive other people nuts, but for your man that's head over heels for you, he finds those adorable. So you might be a little clumsy and you might like bonk into walls and when he does, you know, he laughs, he's like, oh, this is my babe. Or you might have a laugh that you snort when you laugh and other people, it drives them nuts, but your man loves it, right? The little quirks that drive other people nuts, when your man loves you, he's gonna find those adorable. The other day, my wife grabbed a spatula and she started singing and dancing around the kitchen and being goofy and funny. And I looked at her and I was laughing because I loved it. And she looked at me and she goes, babe, I love that you love this about me. I love it. And I said, why? Who doesn't love that about you? And she's like, I got some friends that they don't like this. That this totally drives them nuts. And I was like, what? Well, they're crazy, babe, because I think this is awesome about you. So if your man finds your quirks adorable, it's a great sign. He is head over heels for you. My question for you is what's a sign that shows that you are head over heels for your man? Go ahead and post in the comment section below and know this, I believe in you, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank Thank you. And I'll see you soon. And I'll see you soon. Yay! Woo! Good to see you guys. Oh, I know I see that.